Okay, magnets will not break uh, iPads or flash drives or any of the modern day computers that have no moving parts unless you slam the magnets up against the computer in some way but the, the sheer force of the magnetic power is not going to break the computer it can manipulate it I can sh turn off and on the computer but this is an iPad 3 and they came out with a, a unique design for the iPad 3 where you could buy a separate flap and when they put the f cover the f close the flap on the screen it'll turn off okay so I, this this is uh, simulating the flap being closed flap open flap closed flap open flap closed so there would be a, a magnetic strip which is on the very side or a metal strip that would attract the magnets I could feel a little force and that's where you clip the the flap so I mean this is designed to work with a separate magnet if you wanted to buy that that flap with the magnet attachments but even if you took these these super high gauss um, magnets I mean they're they're really strong I got this see it just attaches strongly okay it, this is a suit this is a lot of gauss here and it's it's not going to break it I could I could tap it or whatever I don't want to scratch the screen but the way iPads are storing memory these days is with those electrons and the electrical charges that are involved it's not any kind of mem memory with magnet magnetic charges uh, like there are different kinds of these rams uh, computers you don't have to be too concerned about I'd be a little concerned about the radio if your battery dies you lose your presets that's interesting that's that could have some kind of magnetic and for, force involved but that's not very efficient it because you have to keep it a little electrical charge going to keep your radio presets whereas you could turn this iPad completely off you know or even those those uh, those thumb drives or, or whatever they can be completely off and only turn on when you when you plug them in and yeah they they just don't get affected by magnets uh, back in the old days yeah there there was a little more manipulation and even even with the uh, computer laptops of today a little bit there there are some that still have those moving parts they're moving away from that because it's not as efficient as the this flash drive but yeah I for example I I, I do have a computer right now um, and I, I've I have shut it off a couple of times I haven't lost any memory but I keep this magnet on my wrist and I had it turned over the magnet turned over on the lower side of my wrist and as I was typing the magnet came in contact with the end of the the keyboard and it's sh my computer shut off so I, I just had to turn it back on it was an inconvenience uh, so there's there's that but it doesn't you, you don't ruin the computer iPhones iPads Android devices thumb drives none of that is is uh, adversely affected by magnets these days just because of the different technology so you don't have to be too concerned if you wanted to practice magnet therapy and keep magnets around you know I, I like to keep them on my wrist and I have them in my pockets the the even this this iPhone I could I, I think there's a spot I can hold it you know, there's a little magnetic spot right there uh, it's it's not gonna break it so the newest technology is designed to work with magnets you can you can wear magnets wherever you want and you're you're gonna be good with electronics you're, you're uh, yeah just you want to be concerned still with credit cards I've wiped my credit card with with a magnet they still rely on that magnet strip um, that's older technology they're they're coming out with newer stuff for that too so something to consider.